Hi snooze lovers and welcome back to the next 50 snooze reviews. Hey alla snooze vänner, hjärtligt välkomna. Hallå liebe snooze freunde, herzlichen willkommen. Stole that one from Uwe, didn't I? So what's happening here then? You used to have a lot of snooze here. Oh, it's just one. Well, I thought that uh, I'm kind of going to build this up in reviews of 50. And then after the next 50, I will do another top 10 of those 50. So we'll just build it up again. That's one way to get rid of the problem I had of creating more space. And um, have I got snooze for you? I've got loads at home at the moment to just trying to work out uh, in which order to review these. And as you can see, I'm a little bit sneaky here, not uh, showing you everything I have. Uh, leave some for the imagination uh, and we will get through them all at some point. Thank you to uh, snooze24.com for making this possible to keep going. And they are stocking the snooze we are reviewing today. It is Eldia Lös. But a suggestion for Snooze24 is you can't actually find it if you search for LD uh, on the website. They do stock it though, so you can still find it in the menus. Uh, I have tried LD uh, portion, original portion, the one with 30 portions in it. And um, that one was interesting because it started out quite bad for me and then it turned into a nice product. So we'll see how, how this one performs. This one is a loose version and um, it's made by, let's try to get the name correct this time, JTI Tobacco. That's uh, Japan Tobacco International. Uh, so it's a, it's a multinational company. So can, can we trust a company that makes camel and benson and hedges to make good snooze? Um, well, it's up to you. Uh, for me personally, I'm just reviewing this snooze product at hand. If it's a good snooze, uh, according to me, I will say so. And then you can work out if you want to support a company that creates camel cigarettes. Okay, so this one, it does not have a cardboard back like the Swedish Match ones. Uh, it is a little bit old this one, I needed to get this out of the way and it's also quite recently I had the LD portion so I can compare them in my mind. Uh, so it might be a little bit dry, I'll keep that in mind. It doesn't have a catch lid, it's a loose uh, snooze. Normal nicotine strength of 8 milligrams per gram and it's a pretty full can, it's got 40 grams of snooze, so 42 I think is pretty much the max you, you get in these. So um, I liked LD portion. Uh, this one is also quite cheap. Not the very cheapest I think of the loose snooses but it's it's close. So it's one of the cheaper products. Uh, so we'll see see how it performs there. Okay let's get into it. The smell initially on the LD, one of the cans I had was pretty rough but I, I've learned to kind of give it a second chance uh, of keeping it overnight. See how it develops. It might get rid of some of the Nasty you might get first. Okay, it's uh, yeah, looking. I mean, that looks a little bit different than normal, doesn't it? So it it's uh, you can almost see the leaves in there. So I mean, it's a ground snooze. Shouldn't really happen. It looks pretty cool. I like it. Smell. Yeah, it, oh, it, it's towards the, the portion one. It's got pretty good tobacco coming through. There's not an awful lot of ammonia at all. It smells quite similar to the portion, actually. And quite, there's a little bit of smoke in there. It's quite mellow, actually pretty pleasant smell straight up away when I open the can and luckily it is still a little bit moist as I said it's a little bit old but no this is it's not a problem see how it bakes okay there we go it's looking pretty moist still 
in it goes and I will be back to you when I finish the can as usual. Keep doing the reviews as always and I'll tell you what I think about LD Lös. Okay, um, I thought it got a little bit sad and empty over there so I put uh, my favorite of the first 50 reviews, the Cardus Fairbeacon. So I have something to look at there, it looked a little bit sorry. Um, okay, LD Lös. Uh, it's um, it's a pretty mild snooze. Um, it's very soft, but it sort of disintegrates a little bit um, under the lip. It's very finely sort of ground. Um, has a bit of bergamot in there. I don't think it's as much bergamot as for the portion version, actually. But it has a little bit of uh, citrus flavor to it. It's not really bitter. It does have some quite natural tobacco, uh, helped by it being a loose. Um, it, it does have saltiness to it as well, but it's not very complex. Uh, it's not very robust. It sort of sits there quite mellow. Um, it's kind of in between. There is a sort of a aerosol feel to it, um, taste to it. Um, but it's not too bad and um, yeah it seems like with the LD portion as well it seems they seem a little bit volatile, volatile uh, potential to go the wrong direction there but I think the the portion was saved after I had it open for a while and I don't think this is bad so when I review a snooze what I normally do is I have a 10 grade scale uh, with half points available so I try to work out for myself uh, whether it's within the one, two, three, four, or five, out of five range. And then try to work out where within that it is. So for this one, so is it a bad snooze, which would be a 0 0.5 to two? No, definitely not. Is it outstanding, uh, which is eight and a half or more? No, definitely not. Uh, is it very good to great? Nope, I wouldn't say so. So then we ruled out the one, fours, and the fives. So we're left with, okay, disappointing or okay to good. It's threatening to be disappointing sometimes with the, um, to me, with the um, sort of aerosol artificial thing going on a little bit. But, nah, I think it's, it's then coming into the three out of five range, actually. So then I know that I'm going to put a four and a half to six on it. So that's, that's my three out of five, four and a half to six. I wouldn't quite call it good for me. Uh, I gave the portion a six out of 10. I thought that was decent, good stuff. Um, to me, this is a little bit worse. I, I would rather use the portion, it's easier because this is you know, not that exciting for a loose. It, the taste comes through quite well, but it's quite mellow, has a little bit of the aerosol, not much of the bergamot, the, the tobacco comes through a little bit. It does disintegrate in the mouth has a slightly odd feel to it, but it's not unpleasant. So then I'm landing on a five out of 10 for the Eldia Lurs. I think it's pretty decent, but probably wouldn't buy this one again. I'd probably rather go with a portion personally or, or other loose snooses. So there you go. Um, next week, uh, we are looking at a lot of different things. Uh, the first one, will be a new uh, release in the X-Range series. So thank you for watching guys. See you then. Bye.